You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures TV. You're beautiful. Thank you. Um, this you should keep this a secret, so that when the magazine comes out, <clears throat> it will take everybody by surprise. Mm. I understand. <laughs> you see all these jealous girls in this village. <laughs> I bet you they will eat up their hearts by the time they see me in international magazine. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Thank you so you know, much. One big man. Or even the president of America can invite you to come and live in America. Is that possible? Very possible. You see all these Oibo people. Eh? Once they notice a smart talent like this, they give you visa immediately. Wow, so I'm smart. <laughs> oh God, I can't wait. I can't wait. Eh? It will happen, babe. But don't forget me when the time comes. Mm, so... I will die. <laughs> Oh, would I forget you? <laughs> One more thing. There is this man that's supposed to be the Iwe of this community. I want to interview him. Oh, Chief Akokalea. Exactly. I'll take it to him. I'm sure he would love to be in this international magazine. <laughs> but can we go now? The earlier, the better. Of course, yes. Because I'll be going back to the city this Saturday. Aww. So soon. Yes. Mm, I love to see this face in him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, because of you, I'll be coming back every now and then to mm. check up on you. Max, um, promise me. Don't just throw away. I promise. Ah, uh, I promise. Okay, come on. Come on, let's go. Max. Come on. Mm, I don't want you to go. Mm, I will still go. <gasps> Adonaka, what nonsense are you talking about? No, you mean you want to travel to America first before you send me money to get your ass in Lagos? No, no, honey. I'm running low on cash. Mm. So all I'm asking for is just two weeks, honey. Mm -hmm. Two weeks. And I'll send you the money you need. Odinaka, you lie. You think I'm a small girl. You want to deceive me. Listen, it's either you give me the money now, or the both of us will stay back in this village. Yes. Listen, 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 listen. I'm listening for the very last time. I am tired of you. What is your problem? Since I got married to you, it's been one problem to the other. You nag and you stress at my life. You're up here. As a matter of fact, I'm not taking you to America, not today, not tomorrow. It is women like you that go to America and they kill their husband. As a matter of fact, you're going to remain in this village with my mother and you bear your kids here. If I am too merciful on you, when you are due, I'll bring you abroad so my children can be American citizens. What is your problem? I am sick and tired of you. For God's sake, what's this? Wadlaka, are you drunk or you're crazy? Are you blind? I am sober! You want me, a princess, to stay back in this village for mother? Your father is not even the Igwe. You are just an ordinary girl. Look at you. The only difference is that you are, you are, you are just boastful and disrespectful. Just like your father. My father will hear of this. And I promise you, he will deal with you mercilessly. I promise you, he will deal with you. What, 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 what? He will deal with you. What, what, what is the meaning of this? Eh? Since I got married to you, now so so, now so so. Hey, God! <clears throat> so, Endoka. Oh no. If you go to the SCB, you need be more. Of course, it's here. I'll cut out, Kale. 
We have done our best to get the right candidate to be our Igwe. But it appears the gods of our land have a different plan. Oh no. I am so, so discouraged and worried about the future of this town in the hands of Akokalia. He has been sending emissaries to my house here. Yes, several emissaries to convince me to convene a meeting to decide on a date for his coronation. Since he is now the sole candidate. But I've been avoiding him. I have been avoiding him, but um, as it is now, I doubt if I can continue to avoid him. It appears I have to surrender and do the needful. You understand me? I understand. That is why I invited you to alert you beforehand that very soon I'm going to convene a meeting to choose a date. I understand. By virtue of your position, as you know, you are not supposed to be partisan. That is my point. That is my point. Uh, I'm afraid, you know, I will not attend any such meeting. Please, please, please pardon me. There's not, nothing to pardon. <laughs> There's no offense there. I understand very well. I understand your position very well. It's a principled position. I understand it. Let's see how it goes. Oh, what about uh, Nemeka? How is he coping with all this? I have not seen him for a while. But we spoke on phone. And he said he was fine. It's fine, huh? Yes. I, I hope so. <clears throat> I hope so. Hey. I hope. I really, really hope so. No. If any man. Or Joker. I look at that. I rap with my side. I need to see get with my side. Well, I got up with my side. Tabak with my side. I don't know how this just came about. I just, I am confused. My dear, I am very happy to see you strong and focused. I have just come to tell you or to let you know that I do not believe the nonsense I hear about you because I know it is the handwork of the devil. Your enemies are being used by the devil to discredit you, but they must all fail in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You see, when I remember all you did for me and the hospital, oh. The only person that remembered me when things were very, very rough for me. I remembered what you did for me. And I used that money judiciously. I was even trying to invite you to come and see things by yourself when this nonsense rumor came up. man's life, there will always be trying times, but I believe this period will pass and God in heaven that I serve will vindicate me. He must surely vindicate and protect you against the enemies Amen. and the agents of darkness. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, my son. Oh, please, just take your hand. Just forget about all these things for now.
happened to you? Why are you crying? Mommy, Odinaka! Odinaka left me and went back to America! I don't get it. What do you mean Odinaka left you? How? He has abandoned you! How? How did he abandon you? How? <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Calm down, calm down. Where are your things? <laughs> Solomon! Solomon! <laughs> Where were you? I, I was eating. You were eating in Nege? Where were you when my daughter came in and dropped her expensive bags on the floor? In Apollo! Now will you go and get those things before I redesign your face? I'm on It's alright! Okay. Come put yourself together! Come! Come get up! I want to die! I want to die! I want to die! Not in my house! Alright, let's go inside! Let's go inside! It's okay! It's okay, sweetheart! It's okay! I don't understand this your story. The last time we spoke on phone, you said the man was preparing your papers for you to join him abroad. Now you come back with the story that he doesn't want you to join him again. I don't for him, daddy. He's a useless man. He doesn't love me. He wants me to go live with his useless mother in, in the village. A home me. Princess of Umudi Kingdom. God forbid. Let's go, man. <laughs> The man has discovered who you are with your bad character and he has sent you packing. See, Daddy, why are you saying all this? Are you supporting him? I'm not supporting him, but I'm telling you the truth. Mm. Before you left here, I gave you every advice I could find in the books. But of course, you would not listen. Now the bubble has burst. Listen. There's no other space in this house. That's your room. Print it out. Go and reconcile with him. Mm, I'll kill myself. I'm going to kill myself. I need to be on your head. Do you want a rope? Or a knife? Mm, wicked mother. Mommy! Mommy! I was saying it. You call me old names. Old man. Old school. What an old man sees standing. <laughs> Even when he's sitting, you cannot see it on an Iroko tree. I go old school. Old school. I ain't here with every year. Let me see you come back here. You want to wear a dress that is not. Uh, of a good one. I talk to you, you say I'm an old man. Old man, in a sense. When you shower and go in a supermarket. I have waited for you in this chair to convene this meeting. But you kept on procrastinating. That's why I decided to invite you to my house. I've suffered all manner of treachery conspiracy since I declared interest in being the Igwe of this community. Well, stones, pebbles, even irons have been thrown at me for this declaration. But my God has been fighting my fight. And as they say in our local parlance, the breeze has blown we now see that the reverend wears a trouser under the cassock. One small boy called Tigana comes with blood money. And you all start inching to his side. <laughs> I look around me. Ndoka and Okafo. They are not here. And I am not surprised. 
But I assure you, I will deal with them appropriately when the time comes. And the time will come soonest. Right on, <laughs> my God anointed leader. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> hmm? mm. My kid and kin, all these years, if you cry, I cry. You smile, I smile. When you lead, it's a non lead. When you lead, it's a non lead. The water you drink in this same community is what I drink. I have contributed more than any other person to the development of our community. And then one criminal element called Emeka Tigana comes in with blood money. You all abandoned me to follow him. On Adenoma. Bam. Huh? But our ancestors have their hands on this head and they have vindicated me. <clears throat> Chief Akukalia, have you invited us here to insult and humiliate us or what? Oh no. I have invited you to tell you the home truth. It is obvious, even to the blind man, that you don't like me. And you would never wish that I become the Igwe of this community. But that's a talk for another day. I have invited you, Umunen Umunan. To pick a new date and coronate me as the Igwe of this community. Kedifan mm -hmm. What are we waiting for? Mm -hmm. Take it easy. To be a king is not a daughter. Chifa Okafo, what is the matter? Nameka called me. I asked both of us to come to Akukalia's house urgently. Akukalia's house? What for? I have no idea. But he first asked me if we are part of the meeting going on there in Akukalia's house. And I said no. He said we should leave whatever we are doing and come down to Akukalia's house urgently. That something very important is about to happen. Something important? Sure. And he did not tell you what is it that is about to happen? No, he did not. But he sounded confident and urgent. In that case, let's go. I trust that young man. Anytime, any day. Me too. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, Ako. Um, Ono, I respect you so much. But it is said that a man who's been admired should not rub charcoal or sand on his face. Nunyanemenkri. Meaning, I am disappointed that you and Onidoka would conspire to try to rubbish Akokalia. You owe Akokalia an apology, no? You are right. Thank God you're all here today to witness what's about to happen. I've been wrongly accused of kidnapping a little girl. I've been insulted, I've been mocked, and I've been almost ostracized from our village. I tried to plead my innocence, but nobody wants to listen to me. But I thank God for a day like this, because evil can only thrive, but for a little while. What's this nonsense all about? How dare you disrupt the meeting of Ndichi of Ndem? Because you can bribe the police? Akukalia, shut up, I'm still talking. Hey! You dare ask me 
Igwe in waiting to shut up in my own house before my own people? What an abomination! Uncle Kalia, shut up and sit down. I'm still talking. If you dare address me in that manner again, I will strike! You cannot do that in my presence. We are here at the instance of Inspector General of Police. We have investigated the case of Kidna and possible murder of one Ozioma Adichie. Now we have come out with something the whole community would like to see and hear. Sergeant! Sir! Bring the suspect. Policeman. Is that a police van? Yes. Jesus, I have phobia for police. Mommy, I, I, I think they're over there. Hmm? Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Hey. You sit here. Do you know this man? Yes. Can you tell us his involvement in the kidnap of one of your It was Chivagukalia that asked me to bring out my friend so that they would kidnap her and I would spread the fake news that they would say it's Tigana that did it. How much did Chief Akukalia pay you to do the job? 50k. That's a lie. Lie from the pit of hell. Where and when did I meet you to make such preparations? Say that now, I... Hey, there's no need for this, Chief. We have done our investigation, Ravid, before we arrested her and other culprits. Yes. Sergeant. Sir. Bring Corporal Maswa. It was that night. He sent his boys to bring the morning. And they brought it. I'm sorry. Mommy, what? what are we going to do? Do what? Mommy, this is all your fault. My fault? You never advised him. Oh, you should have advised him first. Are you not his wife? You are his daughter. And you look like him. No, I don't look like him. You won't search against him. Are you mad? Look what you should do. What did I say? Kokalia, I hope you have seen this young man before. Cynthia's new boyfriend. He came to you to interview you. And he's an investigative police officer. He has everything on record. The deal between you, your talks, and Cynthia. All the midnight discussion and all that, he has it on record. Chief Kokalia, you knew very well that Cynthia was envious of a film man. For getting married to Tigana, and you cashed into him to do what you did. And um, by the way, where is the Ozioma? The girl that was kidnapped. She's somewhere. Where is so where's the somewhere? Somewhere in the Where? We want to know. The next village. Is she alive or dead? She's alive. Good for you. Tifako Kalia. 
We are under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. For anything you say here may be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an Anthony. Now, move. This is amazing. So this is what has been happening behind the scenes. Oh, you're such a wonderful young man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The gentle cries of the leopard is no cowardice. Let's go. Let's prove that. Let's go. Let us follow up on this. Onye mano game, osi se ne la nyo ne da. Ne me ka won maduka, won ka won. Ne me ka tika na, o ka won na mu ro bodo. Do gu na mi le ka go bodo ne wa ni yo. O mo tim kingdom, o mo tim kingdom, mo ka won ba ka go. Hey, wa na yesu. O bele wa na yesu. O bo de bo ni go. O mo tim kingdom, e me ka tika na do do gu, mo ka won ba ka go. Hey. Let me let you see that for so. You my boy, I'm on. Hey, let me get you going. You my boy, I'm on. I'm feeling one of yours. You my boy, I'm on. But don't go near me, let go. You my boy, I'm on. Hey, you're not my girl. You my boy, I'm on. I call you sexy, but I'm playing. You my boy, I'm on. You just want to get in my bed, yeah. You my boy, I'm on. Your name is Mr. Scooby Doo Doo. You my boy, I'm on. Oh, but I can't pull you out. Oh, but I can't pull you out. Yeah, I'm on the kingdom. Mokamwa <laughs> 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 